Hello again. My name is Vladimir. Uh, I think uh, all of you use uh, something to optimize your files uh, for your projects. Is it so? One, just one, two, three. Okay. Well, uh, we had, mm, like to have our projects fast, so we uh, optimize them very hard. And uh, we realized that there are a bunch of tools uh, to make your project working fast. But still, um, we wanted to make it even better. Uh, and we created a lot of tools. Uh, all of them are written in Node.js and open sourced. And the first of uh, them is CSSO. And uh, that stands for CSS optimi opt optimizer. Uh, it uh, does all the things uh, that you all used to uh, when working with uh, CSS optimizer. He, it, it removes uh, spaces uh, and all that stuff, but uh, it differs from the other um, because uh, inside of it uh, there is a, a CSS parser and that's why we can uh, optimize CSS in the very special way. We can apply uh, structural optimizations, and uh, so it is very smart. And I think it's the only CSS optimizer with such uh, great results. Um, then uh, we started to support Retina displays, so we need. Uh, some SVGO uh, in our SVG in our projects, and, and that's why we uh, came up with uh, SVGO. Uh, that means uh, SVG optimizer. <laughs> you may understand. And um, uh, it's in still in development, but uh, even right now it uh, results in very great optimized SVG files. And again, it is, it's written in Node.js and open sourced. Uh, also, we uh, have uh, such a tool as Sietechka. It's a Russian word. And what it does is um, to parse your CSS file and uh, take out uh, just uh, some parts of it according to some special rules. For example, you can write uh, CSS for all the browsers in one file, then uh, ask Sietechka to find everything that corresponds just to Internet Explorer and uh, get it into a separate file and include it separately just for that browser. Uh, again, as I already mentioned, uh, we have uh, that uh, CSS parser and it's uh, uh, open source too. Uh, it called uh, Gonzales. And finally, we have a tool, uh, and it's uh, the only one which isn't on Node.js. It's uh, MGO uh, <laughs> optimizer for images. Um, actually, it's just a, a bash script, but uh, uh, what it does is to it tries to optimize your image with a lot of different optimizers and try to find the best uh, just for your particular image. That's why the compression is the best. That's it. and of course you can participate and help us to improve these tools and ask us the questions. All, all of them are uh, presented on bem.info uh, slash tools. Thanks.